Medio Lab is one of Oscar's lightning research facilities. If we can get our hands on some of its weather data, it could get us closer to destroying Project Diapa. Makes sense. I'll contact you when I'm there. channel with me. Alright. Let's raise hell. I'm at Medio Lab, Sargento. What do we have on this place? The lab uses a rigid airship to collect important weather data for Project Iapa. We just need to release the airship above the base and let it do its thing. Get to the hangar where they store the airship. Air support is on route. Attacking target! of helium. You're having a fun time. Let's go. Helicopter inbound. Getting to AO. Hangar is locked down. Ugh. Nothing's ever easy, is it, Coppa? <laughs> Any ideas, Izzy? There are some consoles around the facility that work as safety locks for the airship. Show me the way. Here, let me call the supply drop. Oye, Rico, supply drop inbound. Come on, 
Did I pull up my friendly? Might have blown up my friendly uh, helper. Unlocked. Good. Now oh, hurry sure. and do the others before they all reset. They reset? Just move. I may have made this incredibly hard for myself, but uh fuck it. Anger's unlocked. The gun sword to release the airship is over there. One shot left. Let's try to make a count. Or, um This will make some noise. Releasing the airship. Whew. All right, I got a bit sick, but got third. And there it goes. You'll have to get close to a to get the data. I can do that. Easy. I'm in range. Your turn. What is it, Sargento? The Black Hand has scrambled the jet. They're targeting the airship. Easy. How much time do you need? More. Don't move. Okay, they're Carajo. not letting me. I'm not 
done. Stay close to the console. Working on it. Uh. That's it. Got it. You're good, right, Rico? Go to Fabian easy. Um, Get that data to Mira and see what she can do with it. Second just cause you could shoot out like the windows of helicopters. Yeah. Come on. Alright, but now that I've perished, we can take over this. And we can now summon forth, uh, the lightning gun from our supply drops, which I think is going to be really fun. Actually, let's do that now. Let's see here. See? Dropping supplies now! some wingsuit challenges while we're here. And then I think hit up. Okay, that's gonna be kinda weird. Hey! <clears throat> hey SS. We just liberated another area. Uh, actually we made quite a bit of progress. Let's see here, we've taken over this region. I think we moved up here as well earlier. We took out the uh, 
capture the Islas Coyupas and had enough uh, squads or had enough troops to take over Cantos. And we helped the dude who saw the, like, the, the weird like weather machine equipment back in the 70s or the prototype. Uh, we saw him, or we helped him get some equipment to build his cool weather chaser that we're going to drive fairly soon. But I think first I want to do some of this and then hit up this story mission. Okay, I think this is less of a story mission, more of like... You know what? Yeah, I think I'll just do some of the stuff. Because... I just need 10 more wingsuit missions, and... Uh... Then the wingsuit will be fully upgraded. Ah, yes. <laughs> Superman 64. Yes, we're playing Superman 64. Fly through my wings, that uh, my... Rings, <laughs> Rico. Where's the other rings? Are they? Ah, they're down there. But yeah, we're doing some of this because having uh, jet boosters and missiles on our wingsuit is good. It's good. It's just real good. Let's see here. And one more that's over here. I'm gonna ignore that helicopter and have faith in my troops that they can take it out. Well, I fly through some rings for a director. That was ha, easy. just incredibly easy. Oh, wait. I think I want to do this one. Because I don't drive cars often in this game, but if this is the mission I think it is, then that would mean I get to unlock that car. And that supercar just goes incredibly fast. Like, faster than has any right being. Like, you, you step on the gas, and it can go like to 90 uh, kilometers is like a minute or not a minute, an hour at just like two seconds or something. That said, if this is one of those missions that are like, ah, that, you know, you unlock it, you usually, usually means that it's somewhere around, ah, there it is. All right. Can I fit this? Okay, yeah, this... I am good! That unlock it? Hey, cool, I got a new booster mod, but... Hey, Nick, we found this thing called an ion coil. Amira says it's exactly what we need for our lightning-proof boat. Swing by Media Lab. Give us a hand. Amira, your support is on route. Alright. Announced that wasn't the one to unlock it. Uh... Oh, what? Alright, 
let's... Not while we're here. Um, trying to think. What do I want to hit up first? You I want some wall I'm here. And so that... Doing this will, uh... Despawn <laughs> these enemies in here. A lot more than, than I want there to be. Ah. Uh, let's do another walkie cutscene. God, I wish ah uh, just just casually steal a flat cannon. Yeah, just all you know, always casually steal a flat cannon. You know, they just have a little hatch on them. They can just pop it open. You hop in. Easy, see. Great. Mhm. Mm According to the data you retrieved, the ion coil in here creates positive streamers which stimulate electrical storms. So it makes lightning. Uh, no. It creates a positive charge which draws negative charges to it. So. Lightning will strike the ion coil and not anything around it. So it absorbs lightning. How do we get it out of there? We need to get around a failsafe system. There are lightning rods protecting this area. Deploy those rods and the failsafes release the coil. Lightning rods? I thought you said this thing absorbs lightning. If Mira says it'll work, it'll work. I know, I'm just messing with her. I'll go raise the lightning rods. He used to be a lot easier to get along with. We get along fine. <sighs> Come on, let's get inside. I wish these cutscenes were better done. I, I don't know. Like, I can easily imagine them in a really fun action movie. But I wish they looked better. Storm's rolling in. Oh boy. Force oh no. up. That should trigger the failsafe and release the coil. Stormy. Uh. Take this. Oh boy. Uh. Oh boy. I found the first lightning rod. There should be a breaker nearby. Leaping it will force the rod up. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's one! Bien. Staying near an active rod will protect you from lightning strikes. Hey. Oh god. <laughs> Thanks, game, for interrupting your own explanation for another explanation. But yeah, lightning strikes target. Uh, lightning strikes targets... Lightning strikes targets that are higher up. Stay low and move fast to avoid lightning when it's about to strike. Uh, deploy the rods to track lightning, protecting their immediate If vicinity. I'm not near one. Without a positive charge, the negative charge... Move it or lose it, kid. If you're about to get struck right. by lightning, Rico, just move as fast and as far as you can. Move fast. Copy. Good thing I have this fucking jetpack. <laughs> How's it going out there? Oh god, hey, I'm about to be hit. You ever tried wrapping yourself and up I'm... in your parachute like a poncho? Uh. Of course, that wouldn't help with the lightning. Sheldon? And this one is up too. Just one more to go. Alright. Yeah, uh, if you play for the wild, you know. Found the last see... lightning rod. Ooh. Yeah, I can see. Uh, electricity crackling around you, that means, uh, move. Do something. Do anything. Last lightning is, rod is up. Yeah, and lightning so hurts. <laughs> I don't know if it's it's a kill. I think it's- oh god. Shit! What is it? Coffee's too hot. Burn my mouth. But, yeah, get to that console. Oh, oh god. Jesus, oh, Rico. Ooh. You all right? Okay, not an instant kill. Ugh, yeah. Because this, your action move right. protagonist, but it hurts. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, you, you oh. gotta move fast when that lightning's about to strike, kid. Lay down, lightning storm. Fly across the ground, mate. Go through your organs instead. Like flip. 
Good no. Good no, I kind of forgot about that. I think, oh god. Fuck. Fuck, I hate lightning in this game. It just... Because, uh, because of the storm weather, up. you also move uh, slower? Looks like the lightning rods have gone back down. There's some sort of problem. Hang on. You'll still be safe if you stay near that coil. That's because it absorbs lightning, Rico. Shut up and flip that switch. Oh, yep. There you go. Gracias. Rico, there's just a glitch in the hardware. It's all. Try to signal the lightning rods from that console. Oh, boy. I mean, yeah, I was hoping to not face plan, but please, game, please don't hit me with lightning, please, please, please. Okay. Oh, thank God, it. the coils. Lightning rods are coming back up. Thing. That should do it. We'll get to work extracting the coil. Hell yeah, we did it, kid. Yeah, nice teamwork, Sheldon. Now find me a towel. <laughs> yeah, that face plan was good. You look cold. Here. Work with me, kid. I'm living up to <laughs> my end of the bargain. You and me? We've got a long way to go. How many deposed dictators later? And you're still the same asshole you were at 17. If I were 17, I wouldn't feel so banged up right now. You remember when you used to dress like a Mexican Johnny Cash? What's wrong with Johnny Cash? Nothing. There's nothing wrong with Johnny Cash. It's just not the most practical way to dress for a war. <laughs> Whatever you say, hula shirt. Well, there's nothing wrong with a hula shirt. Hey, it's just not the most practical way to dress for a war. Give me that. And yeah, suddenly it's a price day. And also, yeah, Rico would dispose dictators. What, apparently when he's 17. I, I think that's how old he was, or... I, I don't know how old he was in the first Just Cause. And I will play Just Cause 2, in which he realized, like, oh no, disposing dictators. You know, like, these dudes suck, but doing it for the, for the sake of the United States of America is bad, actually. And, like, he leaves the agency. And then the third game, he goes back to his homeland called Medici, which is a Mediterranean island nation, and helps liberate them. But, like, Tom Sheldon, like, betrays him multiple times, you know, for, like, things that the agency wants. And this time, seemingly, they have, they're both out. And also, a kitty cat wanting pets and attention. Which is nice. And no, I am like I am debating whether or not to do another mission. This one's locked. What does it need? Secure the Delta Real One region. Ah, it's right here. Oh, and apparently I get a rocket launcher if I uh, free that region. Oh, advance the region through invasion there. Oh, you can lock a railgun? Hell yeah. But yeah, I think that will... Either that or coming back down here will be what I do next time. But yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> It came ash ash towards the uh, tail end of the stream, but yeah. I... Not... That's fine. Drone activity. Uh, investigate the area. Not... Yeah. 
Yeah, being a little bit short under time isn't bad. Because I was thinking of doing one more mission, but I can see that for next stream. And also... Oh, thanks so much. But yeah, next time we're gonna do some more story stuff and explode more uh, oppressive police state government goons with the rocket launchers, or from the missile pods. My fucking wingsuit that has jet boosters on it. This game is great. Okay, this game has a lot of issues, especially with its cutscenes being kind of jank, but like, this game's good, actually. Like, it's actually really fun. Yeah, I am basically discount Iron Man. At this point. And like... No, that's not a bad thing. We're... We're weird spy Iron Man. God, this looks up. So Alright. Hope you have a lovely dinner. So nice. Ciao, Eshush. And yeah. This no, this has been a fun stream, even though I faffed about in the beginning, but yeah. Fun times. Fun times. <laughs> she but yeah I no, yeah I should still do sign off but yeah thanks for watching and uh, yeah try to stream this again same squirrel time same squirrel channel I uh, know I'm still going with the idea of Rico having a flying squirrel persona one day I need to commission art of that because that, that, that just tickles my fancy. But yeah. Good night, everyone.